हैप्पी हाल लिया हाल लिया हमने पहले हैप्पी द जॉय ऑफ द लॉर्ड इज आवर स्वीटनेस हाल लिया द जॉय ऑफ द लॉर्ड इज आवर स्ट्रेंथ आमेन हाल लिया इफ यू आर हैप्पी आई वांट यू द द मेनी हु आर नॉट इन द वीडियोस इफ यू कैन जस्ट पुट अ यू नो अ हैंड हाल लिया टू से दैट यस वी आर हैप्पी बिकॉज़ वी बिलोंग टू द लॉर्ड हाल लिया ग्लोरी टू जीसस Let's think uh, the word from Ephesians chapter four, verse twenty-four. Hallelujah. Ephesians chapter four, verse twenty-four. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And to put on the new self, created to be like God in true righteousness and holiness. See, we will read from verse uh, verse twenty, Ephesians chapter four, uh, chapter four, verse twenty. You, however, did not come to know Christ. that way in you 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 are not you have not come to christ in what way like the people in the world they are christian but they do not know why they who they are in christ what they have received in christ what is their true identity in christ you have not received christ in that way there are people in the world who are lusting about the things of the world lusting up with the about for the things of the world hallelujah Well, I'm 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 telling you uh, today, my brothers and sisters, the way to the kingdom of God is very narrow, and very few people are taking it. Very few are taking it. I think fight fights taking are people are fighting for small things. People are fighting for properties. We fight. People are fighting for positions and places, and this is happening right there in in the Christian communities. And this is happening right in Christian communities. Forget about. the unbelievers this is happening those who call themselves as christians there are people who are fighting and uh, fighting for every small things for small matters which are irrelevant brother is killing another brother just for his property a neighbor is taking encroaching uh, another man's property and you know if i cheating the government cheating the people and doing all wrong things There's so much of evil that is happening in the world today, especially in the Christian world. So here the word of God says in verse twenty, "You, you means we who are right now as I'm speaking to you. You, however, did not come to know Christ that way. Surely you heard of him and you were taught in him according to the truth that the truth that is in Jesus, not in anyone else, not in anywhere else. Today everything is." Uh, even a even a false god is a truth for people they accept the truth you know was here i was hearing one sister is here you know people are going um, she was telling me she is uh, that this is uh, this is a choir choir members you know after the church the choir members are going to play dandiya they are playing uh, in the all those uh, the worship those uh, going into the places where the hindus are uh, playing dancing for to the to the deity of uh, the in the hindu deities people going from the christian faith they said this okay to go and dance it's okay to go and join what is the problem you know, that is so it's people uh, who call themselves as christians who are going for mass or going for this uh, and they are going and joining with the people in the world and becoming one with them but you and i are not taught in accordance with the with the world, with the things of the world but we are taught in the things of god that god almighty has has chosen us has saved us only through jesus there is no other way to the father except through jesus there is no other way there is no other hope there is no other salvation but in christ and christ alone and that's the truth and today that truth is not being spoken people are taking things for granted they live their life as if everything is okay they make it so simple and not it is not being preached that the gospel is not preached my brothers and sisters and people are falling away that's why jesus said will I, when i come back will i find faith When I come back, will I find faith? 
This is what is exactly happening today. People are falling away from their faith. They're giving into other religions. They're giving into yoga. They're giving into all, all kind of evil that is there in the world. Relationships with the world and ungodly relationships. Everything is okay. Here the word of God says, you, however, did not come to know Christ that way. Surely you heard of him in your thought in him in accordance with the truth. The truth that is in Christ, in Jesus. That Jesus was the eternal sacrifice of the Father. That God did not spare his son because the, the consequence of sin is wrath. The consequence of sin is death. And no one could pay that price. So God had to come down in human form to take that punishment of that sin. Sin is the wages of sin is death. There is no hope for those who are in the world because they are in sin and living in sin, living in darkness. There is no hope for them, my brothers and sisters. If they reject Christ, if they do not accept Christ in their lives, their lives is in darkness and they cannot think, they cannot have, they cannot live that life forever in eternity and with God. Hallelujah. In verse 22, it says, you are taught with regard to your former way of life to put off your old self. To what? To put off your old self. What is that old self? That one which was compromising with the world. The one which, was, which is coming, uh, coming and becoming one with the world. When they dance, you dance. When they drink, you drink. When they party, you party. Everything is okay because, uh, you know, no, there is no, because you think everything is okay. But we play with our lives. We cannot play with sin. We cannot play with the world and the darkness. Because that is not taking you anywhere. It's going to take you to hell. Hallelujah. Shukaya la barba. You are taught with regard to your former way of life to put off your old self, which is being corrupted by its deceitful desires. But now to be made new in the attitude of your minds. That now you are made new in the attitude of your minds. You do not have the attitude of the flesh, but you have the attitude of God inside of you. Because in, the, in your spirit... God has made you, you are, you are a new creation in your spirit. You have the righteousness which is of God. You have the holiness which is of God in your spirit. When you receive Jesus as Lord and Savior of your life, you become born again in your spirit. Hallelujah. Your spirit becomes, your spirit becomes new. Hallelujah. Your spirit becomes new. Now your soul, your, your, your soul and your body is being saved. There is a spirit, you are a spirit living, having a soul living in a body. You are a spirit having a soul living in a body. When you, are, when you receive Jesus Christ, your, the salvation, the first thing that happens is your spirit becomes one with God. Your spirit becomes one with the Holy, with the Holy Spirit. You are joined with the Lord. Your spirit becomes one with the Holy Spirit. And you become one with God in your spirit. Now you who you are. The, re the real identity is in your spirit. Hallelujah. That you have to understand. When you get that understanding. That's why it, it says unless and until you are not born again of, of the spirit. You, are, you will never see the kingdom of God. And you will never enter into the kingdom of God. That's what he said to to Nicodemus. Hallelujah. So he said to be made new in the attitude of your minds. And to put on a new self. Created to be like God. To put on a new self. To created to be like God in true righteousness and holiness. Hallelujah. Now God has made you like him. In your spirit. In true righteousness and in true holiness. Hallelujah. Now you are made righteous. When you receive Christ, you are made righteous in God. Hallelujah. You are made righteous. Now that you cannot attain that righteousness 
But now God has imputed the righteousness in, inside of you. By taking the sin out of your life and he has made you righteous and he has made you holy in him. Hallelujah. 2 Corinthians 5.21 Now if you read that second, from verse 17 onwards you will understand that you are a new creation in him. Born again of the spirit. Hallelujah. The old has gone and the new has begun. And now you are now become one with God in the spirit. Hallelujah. Now you are the righteousness of God in Christ. That's your real identity. That's your divine identity. Now your identity has been changed. Now you have, you have become an, a new person in God. Hallelujah. See, when you receive this truth, when you accept this truth, when you walk in this truth, that I am a new creation in God, I am the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. I have the new nature which is of God, hallelujah, created in to be like him, to be like God, hallelujah. When you have that understanding, now what happens? Your emotions, your feelings, your, 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 your whole being starts being changed, being transformed. When you, start, when you start meditating on that word, hallelujah, when you start speaking that word, when you confess that word, that I am the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. I am the righteousness of God in Christ. The old has gone, the new has begun. I'm no more of this flesh. I'm though in the flesh, I'm not of the flesh. I belong to God. I belong to Christ. My identity is Christ. If you, you, you can read in 1 John, 1 John, hallelujah, 417. If you can read that, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. 1 John 4.17 1 John 4.17 Read it with me. Hallelujah. If you can. It says, In this way, love is made complete among us. In this way, love is made complete among us so that we will have confidence in, on the day of judgment because in this world, where in this world, in this world, we are like him. Not you're going to become like him. You are like him. This is the truth. In the day of judgment, you will have this confidence. How it has happened? Because of the love of God. Hallelujah. In this way, love is made complete among us so that we will have confidence on the day of the love God has poured into our hearts. That God so loved us and that love which is in our hearts and the Holy, who is the Holy Spirit in us. The love of God. God is in us, living in us. That love is in our hearts. That love of God is in us, is in me, is in you. That God's perfect love, that holy love is in you, my brothers and sisters. That God has positioned himself in you. In his love, hallelujah. How, how do I know? Because I know Christ. Because I know who he is. I know my, my, that Jesus is Lord of my life. When I declare that Jesus is Lord, that means I declare, I enter into a relationship with God. I enter into a relationship in, his, uh, in the covenant of love, hallelujah. I enter into a covenant with God, in, into a relationship with God. I become one with God in that relationship. When I declare that Jesus is Lord. Why do I say? It's not just simply saying that Jesus is Lord. It's believing in my heart. That Jesus died for me. He took my sins. He paid the penalty for my sins. He bore my iniquities. He became what I could not become. Hallelujah. He took my punishment. He was scorned. He was punished. He was rejected. He was abandoned. He was forsaken for me. There was a great divine exchange on that cross. And I accept that truth in my life. I believe that, that this has happened for me. Hallelujah. When I receive that love that God has for me. When that love comes, comes into my heart. When it, it is received into my, into, my, into my life. What happens? Now I become more and more like him. The power is in his love. There's a power in knowing there's a power in knowing. There is a, because that's why it is very important to know the truth. To know the truth. When you know the truth, there is power in that truth. That, there is power in that knowing that God loves me. 
There's a power in that knowing that God loves me. When I know that God loves me and I take hold of that love into my heart, into my life, there's a power that takes hold of my spirit, that takes hold of my emotions, that takes hold of my feelings, that takes hold of my, my senses. My senses are controlled by the power of God's love. Hallelujah. See, we need, to, we need to take hold of what God has given us, what God has imparted to us. We need to receive this grace into our lives. There's a grace released when you receive Christ and his love for us. There's a grace. That grace is of God. That love is of God. That power is of God. When I receive this into my life, when I, came, when I accept it into my life, what happens? There's a power that is released. There's a glory that is released. So that's why he says, in 117 he says, so beautifully he says, hallelujah. He says, the, 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 in this way, love is made complete. How? Love is made complete. See, the verse before that, God is love. Whoever lives in love, lives in God. And God in him. God is love. Whoever lives in love, lives in God. And God in him. In this way, love is made complete among us so that we will have confidence on the day of judgment because in this world, we are like him. We are like him. When that perfect love comes into our hearts. Because God is love. When I receive that love, I become like God. I become one with him like him. I have, the, I, get, I have the divine attributes of God inside of my heart. I can easily forgive somebody. I can easily love somebody even if they don't love me. I can easily love them. I can easily forgive them. I will not hold anything against anybody. Because I have understood and I have received that love into my heart. Into my, into my, into my spirit. Into my soul. Into my being. I have received his love. I choose not to condemn anybody. I choose not to judge anybody. I choose not to look down at anybody because I know they do not have what I have. They do not have what I have. They, do not they have not received what I have received. And I know there is a difference between me and the people in the world because they are in darkness but I am in the light. Amen. And I know that this love is, is the extravagant love of God. That God has loved me beyond my mind's comprehension, my understanding. That he came down from heaven for me. To love me, to save me, from, to deliver me. To deliver me from my own self. Because the greatest enemy that I face today is me. Oh, I myself, I am the greatest enemy. The flesh. The flesh that is still not saved. Which is uncrucified. When I understand the love of God in my heart, when I understand how much God loves me, I will choose to crucify. I choose to die to myself. I choose to die to anything and everything that separates me from that love. I will choose to, I choose to live for God because I've understood the love of God, the depths of his love, the heights of his love. I choose to live from that truth. I choose to live from that truth, which is in Jesus. Because when I see Jesus, I see the love of God, the perfect love of God. When he forgave me on that cross, when he did not hold anything against me, but he gave himself for me. And he said, I forgive you. I do not hold anything against you. Hallelujah. So I, I choose to love the way he loves. So I become like him. That's why you are like him today. That's why he says... You were taught with regard to your former way of life to put off your old self, which is the carnal nature, the carnal life. To put off that old self of arrogance, of hatred, of jealousy, of vengeance, tooth for tooth and, you know, want to take revenge. You cannot, uh, you cannot stand anybody saying anything to you and you want to give back. You cannot say, stand anyone saying anything or speaking anything evil about you. You want to give back. 
that old nature, that old self dies when you're crucified with him on the cross. That old nature dies. You do not have that former old self, but you have the, the new life which is of Christ. The new nature which is of Christ. You're born again into that new life. And that comes when you receive that love. It doesn't, it's not, it's, it's impossible for anyone to receive it unless you receive it. You receive it in Christ. Hallelujah. Lord, I want that life. I want that life. That nature, Lord. I want that truth in my heart, Lord. I want to live from that truth. It's no longer I who live, it's you who live in me. It's your life in me, Lord. I want to live that life of, of, of holiness, Lord. Hallelujah. Because your spirit is in me. Your holiness is in me. Your righteousness is in me. Hallelujah. You understood, my brothers and sisters, that God has made you righteous and made you holy in, his, in your spirit. So when you, when you receive this truth into your life, that, that your identity is Christ, your identity in Christ, that you are no longer of yourself, you are of God. Hallelujah. And that his life is in you. And you become more and more like him. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. See, the life of Mary of Magdala, Magdala it was not, it, it, it was pure, the work of, she saw her own sinfulness and she saw the holiness of God, hallelujah. The holiness of, the, 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 the glory of God in Christ, hallelujah. When Christ, who had all right, he had every right to condemn her. He had every right to stone her to death. Because he had no sin in him. And she was a sinner standing before him. But he did not condemn her. But he took the punishment. He took her punishment upon himself. He took that punishment. You know, God did not... God, God, the chastisement of God was, was upon Christ. Even for her sin. The sin that she committed by committing adultery. That punishment was already taken by Jesus. That's why he forgave her. Because he was taking the punishment. Hallelujah. And that love of God was flowing into her heart. She saw that she was forgiven. And how much she had, she was, she was, she should have been condemned to death. But she did not, but she did not receive that judgment. But she was forgiven and justified as just as she had no sin god says go you are forgiven go and sin no more she was justified on that day because god justified her in christ hallelujah she was no more condemned that's why he says in romans chapter 8 verse 1 for there is therefore no no condemnation for those who are in christ jesus who are in christ Today you and I are not condemned, but we are forgiven. And we receive the mercy of God, we receive the love of God. And that love is in our hearts. We are the beloved of Christ. We are the children of the living God. Hallelujah. We bear the very image and likeness of God in us. Hallelujah. We do not have the corrupted nature, but we have the inc we have the we have the nature which is of God. Hallelujah. The incorruptible nature, hallelujah. Which cannot be corrupted. By the world and the things of this world. By the flesh. We cannot be corrupted my brothers and sisters. We cannot be corrupted. You, 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 are, you, are, you are the saints of God. You are the children of God. You are born of the spirit. You are born of God. You are born of his word. You are living in Christ. Hallelujah. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Lord. Hallelujah. They say, and he says in verse 24, to put, up, put on a new self created to be like God in true righteousness and holiness. See, understand, that's why I'm telling you every day, every day, we, you and I have to confess this, that I am, I am made in, an, I, am, I am the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. I'm made holy and blameless in the eyes of God. Hallelujah. God has made me, has chosen me to be holy and blameless in his sight. Hallelujah. When I declare this and I confess this word every day, 
I speak this word every day. I am chosen. I am a royal priesthood. I am a holy nation. I am a child set apart. I am holy and blameless in God. Hallelujah. I am the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. When I confess this word, when I confess this identity of mine in Christ, when I confess this identity of mine in Christ, when I confess this identity, that identity becomes a reality in me. Hallelujah. That becomes the face value of my life. Hallelujah. You want, to, you want to see that holiness, you want to see that righteousness being, being very evident in your life, you need to speak these words over your life. You need to speak it over yourself. Declare it that I am chosen in Christ. I am the holiness of God in Christ. Hallelujah. I am right, I'm made righteous in Christ. Hallelujah. I'm, not, I'm no longer, it's I who live, it's Christ who lives in me. Hallelujah. Greater is he who is in me than he that is in the world. Hallelujah. I have the very nature of Christ in me. Hallelujah. I got the spirit of God dwelling in me. I am the temple of the Holy Spirit. And God's spirit dwells in me. Hallelujah. I declare that I am, I am strong in him. Hallelujah. 